a TSBVI outreach tutorial. APH Grandmer Abacus, Part 3, Prime Factorization. Prime Factor, 630. Presented by Susan Osterhaus, a Texas School for the Blind and Visually Impaired Outreach Math Consultant. All right, we're going to go and try one more problem and see if you can do this faster than, than I can do it. Uh, so you, you speed up and get ahead of me. We're going to go ahead and try factoring the number 630 this time. So we're going to place a 6 in the hundreds column, a 3 in the tens column, and nothing in the units column because it's 0. Okay, 630. We start with a prime number 2. Will 2 go into 630? It ends in a 0? Yes. We place our 2 to the left. 2 goes into 630. Let me think about that, okay? Half of 600 would be 300, so I'm going to change that to 300. Half of 30 is 15. I'm gonna, I think I'm okay so far. I have 315. Mm, will 2 go into 315? No, it ends in a 5. It's not going to, to be divisible by 2. Let's try 3, which is the next prime number. Let's see. 3, this is our divisibility rule. 3 plus 1 is 4, plus 5 is 9. 9 is divisible by 3. So that does mean, uh, if we're we following our divisibility rules, it should be divisible by 3. So I'm going to place my 3 over here. But now I have to divide 315 by 3. Let's see if I can do it. 3 into 300, that would be just 100. I've got 15 left. 3 goes into 15 five times. I think I'm still okay. I've got 105. All right, will 3 go into 105? Hmm, I'm not sure about that. Let me add my digits again. 1 plus 5 is 6. Yes, so I know 3 goes in there. Mm, but I'm not really sure if I know how to divide 105 by 3. Oh, I, think I'm, I think I know the answer, but I could be wrong, and I don't want to be wrong because this is a test. So I'm going to grab the calculator and try that. Power on, 1, 0, 5, divided by 3 equals 3, 5. Ooh, okay, I like that. That's what I thought anyway. Okay, so I'm going to change my 105 to 35. So now I have 35. Uh, I'm going to try 3 again. 3 plus 5 is 8. Oops, nope. It's not going to be divisible by 3. The next prime number up would be a 5. Will 5 go into 35? It sure will. So we're going to put a 5 to our extreme left. 5 goes into 35 7 times. 5 will not go in evenly into 7, so we've used it up. The next prime number is 7, and we know 7 is going to be divisible by 7. We put 7 to the extreme left, to the right of our last uh, number, which was a 5. And now 7 goes into 7 one time. We have 1 left. We can stop. How many of you out there beat me? I bet you got it faster than I did. So now let's see if you got it right and if I got it right. Okay. We think it is 2. We have to look at the abacus for this. 2 times 3 times 3 times 5 times 7. Let's double check our work. All clear. 2. Multiply. 3. Multiply. 3. Multiply. 5 multiply 7 equals 630. Oh my goodness, that's what we started with, 630. So if you wrote 2 times 3 times 3 times 5 times 7 as the prime factorization of the number 630, you were correct. And also if you wrote 2 times 3 squared times 5 times 7, you were also correct. And Hopefully you did it faster than I did, okay? So go out there and prime factor to, until you uh, uh, get it so fast that everybody thinks you are the genius you are, okay? Look for other TSBVI outreach tutorial videos by Susan Osterhaus on math for the blind and visually impaired. A TSBVI outreach distance learning production. Executive producers, William Daugherty, superintendent. Cyril Miller, outreach director. Outreach producers, Susan Osterhaus, math consultant. Mike Bicknell, Media Specialist, Texas School for the Blind and Visually Impaired Outreach Programs, 1100 West 45th Street, Austin, Texas 78756, USA, Telephone, 512-454-8631, Website, www.tsbvi.edu, Video Copyright TSBVI 2010, All Rights Reserved.